the solo rhythm, there's a variation, the phrase three. Here, we will play B5, strum four times, and repeat. Down to A5, four times and repeat. To G5, sixth string four, fifth string six, and fourth string six. Strum four times and repeat. And with an inverted E5, fifth and fourth string, second fret with an index bar, along with the third string, fourth fret with the pinky. Add the fourth string four with the ring, and you have a B5 on strings three, four, and five. So we play E5, B5, and move everything up one string, and you have a six string F sharp five. Frets two, four, and four. This rings out in place of the F sharp seven, which we played earlier. Drop down to the A5, to the six string three with a bend, open. Phrase 11 ends a song with double notes on the 6th and 5th string, 9th fret to 11. Switch to double notes on the 5th and 4th string, 9 to 11. Back to the 6th and 5th string, drop down to double notes on 7 and 9. Then end on the 5th and 4th string, 7 and 9. And ultimately end the section with an E5 power chord. Fifth string seven, fourth string nine, and third string nine. Strum twice, pause and strum again. Then repeat the rhythm. As this rhythm builds up, Jimmy adds string rakes between chords. Play the first two chords, then release pressure, but keep your hand in contact, strumming the top four strings twice. Then the next two chords, and a total of 10 string rakes. It's best to count this in rhythm with eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then drop down to the next two chords, Double rake, play the next two chords on the fifth and fourth strings, followed by three rakes, then double E5, pause, and a single E5, and repeat to the end of the song.